How's it going everyone? This is Tom. I thought that I would show you uh, iOS 6, Cydia Picks, episode 6, I believe. Uh, as I mentioned in my last video, I'm extremely busy for this next few months, but I didn't want to break the series, so uh, here it is. And the first one we're taking a look at is called Luna. Now this is an interesting jailbreak tweak which lets you uh, kind of access or toggle on uh, the do not disturb feature, iOS 6 do not disturb feature very easily. So all we'll do is we'll just bring down notification center. Uh, we will go like this and all we do is just drag down as you can see you get a really nice graphic there And it says release to a disable or release to enable just like that It's as simple as that. It looks really great And uh, as you can see it is toggling on and off do not disturb up at the top there That's not all this one does it also uh, enables some very nice kind of very simplistic banner notifications when you're in do not disturb so instead of the intrusive normal ios 6 uh, banner notifications you get them just kind of in the status bar so i believe it's 199 so you know it's not the cheapest jailbreak tweak and if you feel like you don't need it you don't need to get it but however i feel like it's definitely worth the price it's a very well done tweak it's made actually by the same designer as orxo and it's also made by ryan petridge so definitely check that one out the next tweak we're taking a look at is called atom and as you can see it's really, really cool. It replaces your lock screen uh, slider with this kind of little nub at the bottom. And uh, you can drag it up to, for example, Tweetbot. And it would take you to your Twitter application. And you can set and customize these applications according to what you use. So, for example, here uh, I could go on Instagram or my music app or my mail email client there. And it's just very useful to have these shortcuts. So, within the settings of Atom, you can, uh, let's just scroll down, you can see that you can toggle on or just change all of these different applications. So it's very simple, a very, very nice and very well done. That's by Seanix and I believe Tyler Nettleton. Uh, not 100% on those names, but um, it's a very well done tweak and definitely props to them. So again, I would definitely go ahead and check that one out. Finally, we'll finish off with Mini Player. And this gives you a kind of iTunes enabled uh, iTunes inspired I should say uh, kind of music banner which lets you see so as you can see I have a song playing here you can tap on the little bar here and you get the media controls just like this uh, and of course I'm not going to be playing the full song if you get the album artwork on the left here you can just slide it across so you can slide it back uh, and you can see the song name as well it, this is a very nice tweak however I wouldn't say that it's really worth the two dollars if you really want it uh, the, for the $2 that you need to pay to get this tweak, you very much can. And um, it is a good, it's a well done tweak. However, I don't think the functionality is as impressive as the other two, which uh, are the same price. So you have to just weigh that up. And uh, if you want to get it, you can. It is called Mini Player. There's a few settings, nothing major to configure. Guys, I know this was just a quick episode of iOS 6 Cydia Picks. However, I did want to bring it to you guys. A shorter video is better than no video, right? So um, that is the philosophy I'm going to go for with the uh, next couple of weeks as I have my main bulk of exams in that time. However, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give the video a like and I will see you all next time.